Hey, welcome to another one of my rambles. Um, I was thinking about it, INFJs, like, you know how, like, we complain, like, we don't have friends? Maybe we just don't want friends. You ever thought about that? Like, I feel like if you really wanted something, well, that's not necessarily true, because you don't always get what you want, but, or maybe that's just the way we are wired. We are wired to not have friends, because... Our minds are so complex that it's hard to find people to make adequate connections with that are long lasting enough to form a relationship called a friendship. Yeah, I, I think I've gotten to a point where I'm, I'm kind of like, this sounds like morose, but I'm, I'm kind of done with trying to find friends or trying to make friends. Um, I think like there are people that I care about different levels and degrees of people that I care about, you know, but as far as expecting a friendship or a relationship to occur, I'm good. You know what I mean? I think like you can relate, like we've put forth a lot of energy and effort to find these connections and maybe maybe you're one of those INFJs that are super fortunate and you've you're like surrounded by like a, a plethora of people that are genuine and sincere have your best interests in mind and you guys are interacting on a regular and you guys are really truly friends and you have a bunch of these that's great for you but for this INFJ for me personally kind of given up on it um that's messed up I feel like, um, to some extent, I don't know, have I built a barrier? Have I given up hope? To some extent, if I were to be really real with myself, yeah, I have. And I, I just feel like it's not really worthwhile to try, to try to make these connections anymore. And because everything in this world is so like fleeting and so like transitional, I don't have the energy or the drive that I used to to try to keep these things together. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, uh, it's kind of like watching a movie. Like how you see like different scenes and characters and synopsises happen and it just kind of move through. That's what I see this, this plane or dimension of existence as. And, um... I don't know, like, this sounds kind of dark. I've been kind of in a dark place, and that's fine, because I know that we are made up of many different dimensions, and you can't just stay in one dimension and not acknowledge the others, because that's just really fragmented and it's not whole. But I've just kind of, like, given up hope on, on people. Does that... I know that sounds really sad. I've given up hope on them. But if I were to be really honest and true and like radically honest and true to myself, this is what I feel. Um, yeah, you know, you can meet people who are kind and sincere and genuine, but there's also different dimensions of them that counter those things. Um, you know, like for instance, I, I've met people who I thought had a lot of promise and then they revealed that that was a facade and they were just faking it to get through so that they could utilize what they could from other people to make it in this world. So, you know, it was kind of like a, a one-way street. It was really parasitic behavior. I, I rarely come across people who are super authentic and sincere and true. There's usually a motive behind their actions and intentions that are in their best interest. Um, and even if I do come across someone who is, you know, really, really thinking about everyone as a whole, aside from themselves or including themselves, um, the relationship doesn't last. So, like, I don't know, maybe I've allowed the 
amount of pain that has I've allowed to occur and impress upon myself to really, really distort my view of reality. But, you know, people, I've been watching videos and people have been like kind of proclaiming how we should not lose hope in humanity and give people the benefit of the doubt. But I've been doing that for most of my life and I've, I've kind of reached a point in my life where I'm exhausted. You know, giving people the benefit of the doubt, giving people like more chances than I should have, you know, and just kind of like fooling myself into believing that certain things are there when they're actually not. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, I've kind of caught, I've kind of gotten to a place where I've just kind of accepted where I'm at and I'm currently at a place where I'm trying to make peace with it you know um yeah everything is just kind of like touch and go that's it and there I just don't see the sense in putting forth any energy or effort in maintaining maintaining anything because it just falls apart I'm kind of hesitant to post this on YouTube. I just don't really feel like I want to get any harsh criteria for how I feel. And that's the thing, like, I feel like we, we don't, not, most people don't listen to understand. They listen to be understood. So it's like, you know, like, in this case, like, I, I don't know that people can even try to understand where I'm coming from feel like they're just going to try to like impose their belief systems on how they think I should be versus just understanding where I'm currently at. And I don't think any, you know, nobody really knows who you are. They don't really know who you are. They, they know what you've allowed them to see, but they don't know who you are. They don't know your journey. They don't know what events you had to incur and experience and accrue to get to a particular place in life. And I'm not trying to like look for pity. I'm not trying to make anyone feel guilty, including myself, but I'm just acknowledging what is, you know, like I've just given so many people the benefit of the doubt and I have looked for the good in people blindly like, to the point of disregarding, you know, actual traits that were toxic and it's really put me in really bad places and I'm tired of that. I'm tired of experiencing that. I'm tired of like giving so much hope to an ideal that is unrealistic, if that even makes sense. And I've had someone tell me, don't, don't change who you are. Like, don't lose what you have because, you know, whatever and I'm just like why like I've been doing this for most of my life and it's gotten me to where I'm at now and I don't know I just don't see the point in it I don't see the point in it anymore to give people the benefit of doubt and to like man people reveal who they are in the first moments if you're paying attention you know, you can see, like, the front that they're giving you, and they, you can also, like, pick up on little, like, cues and who they really are. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. It's like first impressions. People just want to show you what they want you to see in order to trick you into investing in them. Whether they're a worthwhile investment or not, that's, like, a totally different story. Some people are worthwhile investments, but they are very few and far and in between. I say 1% of the population. You'll find 1% of really, truly noble, kind-hearted people. Everyone else has their own motives, and they're very selfish and ego-driven. No matter how saintly they try to like um, paint themselves as. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I mean... 
Maybe that's why I don't have friends too. Maybe I'm just too real. Maybe people can't handle my realness. Maybe people can't handle seeing what I see. Or, you know what I mean? They just don't want it. They want to they wanna stay in their little comfortable bubble. And they don't want it to be shook or rocked. And so they're just, they just have a tendency to push me out and just get out of my face. I don't want to, I don't want you to bring these topics up that are obviously there, but I don't want to acknowledge. Anyhow, I don't know if I'm going to post this. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Maybe I will and I'll take it off. Thank you for watching. Blessings to one and all. Amen.